Introducing Entertainment Dissected with your host, Joe Socrates. Welcome to ED, the last place on the internet to get updates on Jeremy Renner. Sad news for all you JR fans out there, as we have just learned that Jeremy Renner has announced that the official Jeremy Renner app is being shut down. The news left everyone asking, Wait, who's Jeremy Renner? Stan Lee might be dead, but he's definitely far from gone, as the official Stan Lee website is still providing constant promotion for Disney theme parks, TV shows, and feature films. It's rumored that Stan will also be playing the lead in Disney's upcoming Weekend at Bernie's remake since acquiring the rights to the series in the Fox acquisition. It turns out they weren't content to just figuratively provide his corpse around like a puppet. That's fine, because now he gets to join the ranks of other fine puppet Americans. Speaking of shameless cash grabs, the first original Star Wars TV series, The Mandalorian, is coming to Disney+. Plus. It's the story of a Boba Fett-looking bounty hunter who isn't Boba Fett, surrounded by a bunch of familiar Star Wars stuff, just like Boba Fett was! The series is an experiment to see how much money they can make from Boba Fett without actually featuring Boba Fett. There are also tons of original MCU series coming exclusively to Disney+, Plus, including Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, Loki, Marvel's What If, Ms. Marvel, She-Hulk, Moon Knight, Ironheart, and of course, Hawkeye. No word yet as to whether or not the Hawkeye series is a direct response to the closure of the official Jeremy Renner app. Ugh. You know, I've reached that point in my career where I even need to consider a stage show in Vegas or ODing on a toilet. So that's your Entertainment Dissected for the week!